Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make some fufu and light soup. It is a Sunday, I've had such a relaxing weekend and I thought this would be the perfect way to finish it off. Last weekend, I'm not sure you guys saw, but if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I celebrated my 25th birthday. We went for brunch, I had like a bottomless brunch and I celebrated it with 12 of my really close friends. So it was a really, really nice weekend. And in the evening we went out, the next day we went to a few barbecues and so yeah, this weekend of course I wanted to have a really relaxing one and then today I'm just having a really chilled out one. I am going out later on this evening, I'm going to um, Blue Ribbon, they have a launch for their new salon. So before I go there I thought you know what, I was really really craving for full night soup. I don't even know if this is the best thing <laughs> to eat before you go out. But then I've been craving it for over a week now, so I decided to make it today. And I'm also going to have some for tomorrow as well. So if you guys want to see how to make this, keep watching. It is one of my favorite comfort slash go-to foods. And I just feel like you can never go wrong with some fufu. So I've got my dish here. I'm going to show you guys. This is it. Hey. And yeah, it is such a delicious slash comforting dish. And when I'm done filming this intro, I'm going to dig right into this. Mm. So yeah, if you want to see how I make it, keep watching. So I have here the red bell peppers. I love using this in my stews and soups. It adds a really, really nice flavor to that. I also have here some fresh tomato soup so you guys can see. Here we have some tomato paste or tomato puree as some might say. Here I'm using a hen. We use this for traditional Ghanaian light soups and stews. The hens are slightly tougher, a lot leaner. You could say healthier because it doesn't have that much fat. Over here we have um, scotch bonnet chilies, my personal favorite. These are so fragrant. I also have here some onions, some fresh ginger, four cloves of garlic, and one boulon cube. To season with salt, I'm also going to add some freshly ground black pepper. Yeah. You can also add some white pepper to this, but I'm gonna keep it very, very simple. I also like to add about a cup of water. It's just to steam the chicken really. I think I'm going to add two cups of water. Perfect. Start to cook the chicken. I'm going to steam it for about 20 minutes or so and then we'll add our onions and tomato. So guys, we've um, par cooked the chicken. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the tomatoes and peppers into the pan. We're going to steam this because the secret to getting a really nice sort of texture to the tomatoes is to ensure that the skin peels off so we do this by placing the tomatoes into the pot. I like mine very soupy, so I'm gonna go for about three tomatoes and two small bell peppers. Take off the green bits, which I didn't do. There you go. And then just place that into the pot. So I'm gonna place my onions. I've got one large onion. I've got one whole ginger, garlic, which I'm going to add whole. Just place them in the center and then one scotch bonnet which I've pierced. I'm not going to take off the stem because I want to pull it out easily and then I'm going to use one stock cube which I'm going to sprinkle all over. Now you can do this after but when I'm blending the tomatoes, the peppers, the onions I like to um, blend it with a bit of seasoning so it can really seep into the soup. I'm going to pour another cup of water and then leave this to steam for 10 to 15 minutes. I know when my mom's making this, she likes to add a lot of water. So again, that's entirely up to you. And then now, I'm just going to cover it. As you can see, I have peeled off the skin. The skin comes off very easy, easily when you um, steam it like this. So I'm just gonna add that to my blender.
going to add about a cup of fufu. Um, I'm making a very small portion. I like to add in about um, a cup of hot water. And I like to give this a stir. Now I then transfer it over to the top and add in tiny bits of hot water because I want to make this into a dough-like texture. So guys, this is a great tip. You know when you go to the baking section and you see the spatula? This is perfect for making your fufu over the hob because it takes everything in but it also allows you to fold it easily. And add in a tiny bit more hot water. Bear in mind, everybody has their way of doing this, so you can watch other tutorials if you're not too sure. Especially if this is your first time making it and you want to make sure that the texture is right. I probably recommend watching a few, other, a few other tutorials, but because I know what texture I'm looking for, that's why I'm doing it like this. But I'd be more than happy to leave these tutorials in the comment section down below. A bit more hot water. I'll give this just a stir. Yep. We are getting there. Make sure you get this spatula. It's life changing. And Grandma, they like to pound the fufu fresh. And do you remember how Grandma used to do it? Mm. She used to get the cassava, the plantain, and they will pound it fresh until it turns like this. This is an arm workout. I am done. So we're going to serve it now. I've got my favorite bowl. You dip your hands in cold water and you just rub it into a bowl. Yay! So that's my fufu. Mama, if you watch this video, look, I was hungry and I made your thing. I was thinking about actually doing a QA. Well, that's easy for four. my loves that is it thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like and thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't if you want to see how i make this delicious thing and you want to check out all the ingredients and recipes then click the link below